Have you ever just wanted to change your world? Maybe something colder or somewhere warmer? Or maybe something from the future? Now imagine doing all that while running. That whole sequence you just watched was made of Runway LF with just one video clip. Yeah. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that you have a good video clip to start with. And that could just be normal video footage of yourself, or it could be an AI generated video that you've made. I first created the image of myself using a Flux LoRa. Then from creating that image, the next thing I did was use Kling 2.1 Pro just to create the video because I wasn't satisfied with how Runway's videos were coming out. Then I took that video into Runway LF. Let's get into Runway LF, which is a super exciting platform where you can do all sorts of amazing things. So here we are within the Runway platform and this is the project which I used to create the sequence that you saw. And this is the video that you saw already, which was made with Kling 2.1 Pro. And in here I wrote the prompt with Aleph as the option here, change the scene to a forest with rain and the man's clothes have been weathered a bit. And it's just Gen 4, but it's with their new Aleph model. And then this is the result here of that prompt with Aleph. It took that original video because it's the same running motion, the same character, but now running in a forest with rain. It's absolutely incredible. And you could adjust it again. You could turn this to snow or something else. So then some of the other clips that you'll see is some here that I didn't include in the sequence, but here is the next one, which was in snow. So you can see here that basically the clip was change the environment to a snowy mountain ridge. Keep the reverse tracking shot. So you can change the environment just with a short clip like that. And then you can even change the angle. Here I asked for a angle of a drone shot of the scene. It didn't quite keep the running, so this shot didn't make the sequence at the beginning, but you can see same shot from a drone shot, but not running. It's super incredible what you can do because it gives you the option to get angles that you never had before. And this doesn't just work, like I said, from AI footage, this also works even from your own footage. So I used Aleph to create the shot where he's running forward in the snow. And then I said, generate a new camera angle and add falling snow. And so you can see here a second shot of the same shot that we had here. So bottom right, we've got the original Aleph adjusted shot which is him running forwards, and then a new shot of him, same but running from the side angle. Absolutely incredible. And another shot here, make the environment flooded. This man is running through waist deep water. And you can see he's taken this original shot again and put him in a flooded environment, running through waist deep water. The possibilities are actually just endless. Another one here that didn't make the final cut but that was a really good shot as well just changed the background to a busy street market so he's running through a busy street market here through a jungle through a futuristic wild and this was going to be a drone shot of him running through the forest in the rain you can see the rain shot there but didn't come out that well one of the shots that did make it in here was a side angle of him running through the same scene here i asked it to attach the camera to a tree and pan as the soldier passed by and it gave us this incredible shot of him coming from the side. Sometimes the running gets a little bit off. So I just take the part of the shot where the running is working. So for the beginning sequence that you saw where I was changing environment, same sort of thing again. I recorded clips. It was just a short clip of me doing exactly what happens here, talking to camera and saying that. And then I'd tell it, change the environment to a cozy wooden cabin surrounded by heavy snow. When it exports the video where it's changed the environment, you don't get the audio, but of course you have the audio on the original video. So you can just lay this clip on top of the original audio and it will line up perfectly. So one of the things that Runway doesn't have is sound effects. So for sound effects, I used mmaudio.net, which is quite a small subscription, like $5 or something. Upload the video clip and then put in a prompt to say what you want. And in this prompt, I wrote desert, landscape, constant wind, missile explodes in the distance. And it adds the sound effects to the clip. 
You can also put a negative prompt like no music and no speaking. And that's what I wrote here, no music, no speaking. Otherwise, sometimes it adds all sorts of funny music and speaking to the clip. So the cool thing with Runway Aleph is that you have the ability to change the weather. For example, here you've got the clip on the left and then on the right you just click add rain and you'll get rain. And in this instance, they've shown that you can just add a crowd to a scene. Maybe you've got like an empty hall or an empty auditorium, but you want it to look full. And then here, remove the cars from the road. Incredible. Imagine how difficult that would be to do. Like, so go out in a shot in London or a big city and then literally bring in here and say, remove cars. And then another option here, these are just tips and prompts to try. Replace the background with a green screen. Or you could say, add fire to the hand. For music, I used Suno, and Suno is incredible, and I just asked ChatGPT to help me come up with some cool prompts that I put in here, and then clicked instrumental, and the music that I opened up with was this one. And you can see the prompt here, which is tribal drum, soundtrack, drum, dramatic, ambient, emotional. If you enjoyed that and want to create your own cinematic scenes, hit subscribe for more AI video tips. And if you'd like a list of all the Aleph prompts used, Today, there's a free PDF within the school community, which is in the pinned comment below. And it'd be great to see you in there where there's a lot of people who are communicating together about how to use AI video for marketing and for all sorts of different purposes on YouTube. And we also ha have regular interesting guests within the community, CEOs of AI companies and film directors and all sorts of different things. So it'd be great to see you and get to know you more within the community. I'll see you in the next video.